goodness, with face, pat, and tiz. And that brings us to the beginning of one of my favorite segments, Faces Questions of the Week. Hey, now, hey, the questions hey, this week do? ain't so random. They more honed in. Um, so let's just go at them. Um, first question, who's more confident, men or women? Mm. Now that I'm going Ooh. to go with men. I'm going to say on a generalization basis because you have vice versa, but I would say in general, from what I see, women oh, seem to be more self-conscious about if it depends on what root arena. Let me say that because I say like women seem to be more self-conscious about like aesthetic things. Men seem to be more self-conscious about like um financial and like physical things. So it's like depends on what you're talking about, but ah, that's tough. You go back. Yeah. Because I was, I was gonna say, at at surface level, I was gonna say men, because just off of the simple things that majority of the things that women buy, consume, or take a look at, all they're all to improve something on them, not in the like, how to say. Not to say that improving yourself is bad, but I mean, it. they're all like cosmetic stuff or whatever. Like we don't have a whole line of stuff to improve how we look. We got a razor, you know what I'm saying? We have a barbershop and, you know, the, the same generic lotion that we buy at Walmart that anybody can buy. You that's know what I'm saying? We're that's just true. now getting into the age where they have stuff that's like dedicated to men, like beard. Yeah. Uh, yeah and, and stuff like that or whatever but as far as like flat out cosmetic stuff like that or whatever um it looks surface level like men have more confidence That's surface what, yeah, level. yeah at surface level now if you really dig into it because you if you think about it um men when we don't talk about our feelings we don't we don't talk about when we're having um we're going through stuff but so much you know what i'm saying if we do it's not like openly expressed as much as women do or whatever like if we if we're talk about it we're going to talk about talk to like one of our closest closest friends or whatever before or anything before we just put out something on social media so that's why i say a surface mix surface level i would say men but at at times there are times that just women they do stuff or whatever and the what 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 they do and how they show up is will intimidate a man depending on that man or whatever so but yeah yeah i, I would say women um Women are more confident, I feel like, in situations that involve any type of uh, emotional stability, like mm -hmm. where you got to be like able to express and receive emotion and process those. Like mm -hmm. they are much more equipped to do it and they are more apt to be able to be successful at those just naturally without no practice. Like if you take a man and a woman with no practice at it, a woman kind of just seems to have that instinct when it comes to that. Whereas we kind of fumble through it or we like, that seems to be like our area of like inconsistency or nerves, if that makes sense. Like mm -hmm. we be apprehensive. We don't really be knowing exactly how to attack it. You know what I'm saying? If, if it's one area where we often are lost, I would say it's that. So like, I think that's the uh, main thing on that. And I think, uh, as far as like um if it's like to do, I think men are more like confident there. Like I feel like if it's just like, hey, I need to do this right now and get this, 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 and this and done without no no like boom, boom, boom. I think mm -hmm. 
I feel like we're more confident in those areas because that's kind of the roles that we're socialized to pick up growing up. Like, you're more socialized to be the general or the soldier or the guy who's getting stuff done. And, all right, we just got to make it work. Come on. So, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Whereas the girl might have time to process what they're given or, you know what I'm saying, they're, a little, they're socialized, not necessarily to be like a workhorse type of thing. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Now, now that I think about it, I feel like anything in media right now is something to build up women's confidence. Like it's, it seems like every message, like every everything that comes out or whatever, or like just the shows that come out or whatever, like I think it's all built on building up women or whatever. So that's why I say at surface level, it seems like men have more confidence seems like right 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 I, see what you mean. I definitely see what you mean seems we don't oh, we don't express it enough for us you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying right i say men have more confidence based on one factor alone an ugly man will holler at any woman he don't care how but a woman who feels like she ugly, she ain't gonna go. holler at that sexy man. Oh, girl, mm-mm, I can't do it. An ugly man, he gonna go get it. Because he knows it may be a chain. It may be a slim chain. <clears throat> I know I know I'm ugly, but shit, she might like ugly niggas. Hey, I mean, hey. You stupid. One of the men I'm gonna shoot my shot. Hey, women out there, every woman has been hollered at by an ugly dude. But men, think about it. How many unattractive women have really approached you and hollered at you? Not a woman that you just right. like, nah, she's my type. Uh, actually, woman who is just like, oh my god, like, look at look, you, you have to judge this? her like women judge men. You feel like you feel like you really look at it. I'm here to look at it. Like, ugly men will always go to a woman. That's confidence. You feel me? Like they know. I can shit. I got it. It, it don't happen wow. often, but it it happens. I've, I've been approached by somebody that was less busy when they had it. But uh, alcohol do a lot for people. <laughs> a lot of people. You stupid as hell for that. Alcohol do a lot. Not you. Beautiful. Now, my I next question. I posted, <laughs> I posted the group mm-hmm. and all the listeners. Mm-hmm. If a person can be dra- transgender, right? Because that's the new thing these days, um, acknowledging that you identify as a different gender and people mm-hmm. are, are, we're accepting to that. Can a person be transracial? Quick answer. Was it, isn't that what Rachel Dolezal was? Mm-hmm. But she also got ostracized for that as well. Only because she got out of it. Mm-hmm. It's just it's kind of like the transsexuals, like they they be good to somebody be like, oh no. <laughs> so I feel so like I feel like they like, like, okay. can be. I guess I'm I'm a, I'm gonna be. I told you, man. I'm a, I'm gonna be a fern, yo. <laughs> Let me be trans species. I'm gonna be a fern. I was serious. Like, what if one day somebody just you know what? I'm not black, man. I- I never felt like I was black. I'm Chinese, yo. Deep in my it's heart, I feel like my my name ain't Jawan. My my, my name is well, my name ain't Jawan. Man, my name is Yao. Jawan. I didn't know it was Yao Ching. Don't so call it's, me Jawan. It's, it's, it's black man. people that do that though. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen it on YouTube. That's I've a real thing. In, I've seen it in real life. Oh, <laughs> oh my! I've seen it. I've seen it in real. Life, not just black people, anybody. Hey, bro. In, in real life, everybody. When you when you're young and you're trying to find yourself and your identity or whatever, you, a lot of people they'll try on different outfits. I'll put it that way. They'll try on different outfits and see which one gives them the most attention. Whatever uh, gives them the most attention, that's the one they're gonna roll with or whatever. I, yep, me and Twin had um. Went to school with somebody, and I swear every week 
And it was actually multiple people that did that. It seemed like every week their nationality changed. They were Puerto Rican one week. They were Samoan another week. Like, matter of fact, me and Twin have met multiple people that done that. Like, <laughs> they, the Cuban one another week. The, <laughs> the next Cuban moment, they, they put Filipinos. Yes. Cuban B. Like, Cuban B. Okay, this is my thing on yes. that question. Can you, like, can you go into a job interview and mark down a different race? And they accept it when they look at you and be like, well, you're not this. Well, I, that's what I identify as. That's what I Rachel see myself Dawson. as. Rachel Dawes off. Rachel Dawes Well, legally, they, have legally, they can't really mm-hmm. worry about whatever your race is. Like, if you check whatever, mm-hmm. that can't be part of your thing. Like, they really can't check with you on that because legally that would be discrimination if they got a problem with it. Put other so, each time. <laughs> right. So if they took your invitation, right, and that's what they had first, they never saw you. And they looked on, looked at your race, and it was like they're trying to call you, and they try to look at your, look at your um, resume and your application, and get a description of you based on your answers. And they go into the waiting room and call your name. And you stand up. You feel like put yourself in that situation as the person hiring, and you coming out there, the person unmarked, Hispanic, of of, of Latin descent. You feel me? So you expect mm-hmm. to see someone Hispanic of Latin descent, but you see somebody stand up, six eight, dark skin, like. Manute bold dark skin. And yeah, you just woke up. All oh, right, but you, but, but you, but, but this, thing about but the way you pose the question, though, too, you pose the question starting with if you can have transgenders, can you have transracials? So the answer yeah. that, then so yes, mean, can you, like, like if you out there, like you think about you at the, you in that same situation, right? And you call mm-hmm. out Michelle, Michelle Rodriguez and this big six, eight Manute bold looking dude. Yeah, up. like that's gonna throw you off too. But you gotta these gotta days, roll like, with yeah, they yeah. Got to, like you gotta just roll with it. So it's like yeah. these days, it is it, it then got to the point of society where like you can be anything you want to be, literally. And it's really like if you if you question it, you become the demon. You're wrong, exactly. You're like, wrong. Like you can't you can't just be curious and not understand it, or like really like like well, what's going on? That they'll call like, you uh, you're whatever you're for like, a, a racial yeah. phobe or whatever they call want to call it, like at that point, like so it's like, yes, at this point, yes. I told you I'm gonna be a fern, be classified as a plant, nigga. get my spores on. <laughs> like fern gully, nigga. Well, those are my only questions I had that I, I had to pose to the group and to the audience this week, man. I just want the audience go ahead and try to answer these questions, man. Pose your answers. Give me some more feedback. That's what we let us know in the feedback. comments below, please, please, please. Let, let this conversation like, build. What's y'all feeling about this transracial topic? Hey, face, and man, you might have to bring that question to the community. live, yo. That's a good damn question. Oh, I am. I, yeah, I that should be the topic that. for the live too, bro. That that's a good damn question to get the people's vibe on. Transracial yeah. man and the confidence thing, because um, I, I, I've never, me personally, when I was single and out there dating before I got married, I was never approached by any women that were ugly. You always see men that are go for ugly women. You should go for ugly woman or let me say an unattractive woman to the to the masses. I'll, I'll say it like that. Excuse me for using that that um the word ugly. Um, I'll say unattractive to the masses. So you'll see men that'll go up to an, a, a person that's unattractive to the masses, but right. you won't see that in the other way. You won't see that unattractive person that's unattractive to the masses come up to a man. You feel me? But mm-hmm. you'll never see mm-hmm. you'll never see a man in in the unattractive unattractive lane go up to any and everybody. Right, mm. and and still shoot that shot because, as we all know, if you don't shoot the shot, you can't make it or miss it. You feel me? So mm-hmm. that's why they shoot that shot. <laughs> that's why they always go for it. That's why I feel minimal confident. But with that second question, transracial, that's just crazy to me. I mean, this is a new day and age, and it's all about understanding. I don't have nothing against nothing. I don't have no phobias. So before anyone says I'm any type of foe, um, realize I, I'm, I'm big on definition, and I don't have a fear of anything. So I can't be a, a foe of anything. Um, right. So I, I always hunger for knowledge and want to understand other people's viewpoint 
So if someone could better explain something to me, please, I'm always a sponge for knowledge. I think the question was a, a valid one, and I think it's a good deal. Like, that's why I said, like, we need to bring that to the lab and, like, really get the post of the people and, like, really have that conversation because I think that's a that's one, like, I've never had to, I never really thought about it, to be honest, like, on that deep of a mm-hmm. level. I it's it. two examples. It's two examples that's out in the media now. That's why I, I thought about it. Um, if everybody's ever watched that show, Atlanta, it was an example of transracial on on that show with the dude, the black dude, fat black dude, was trying to he he identified as a white, a forty five year old white guy from Minnesota. So. <laughs> and then you got Uncle Ruckus from Boondocks. Exactly. Well, he just a he, he just. He just it's somebody out there like Uncle But then you also okay. have Dave Chappelle talking about it on on what the, it was on Sticks and Stones to stand up. He was like, What if he woke up one day and he wanted to identify as Chinese and he walked around with funny ass and, and speaking in a messed up Chinese accent where people look at him funny? He was like, What? You can't look at me funny. This is how I feel inside. <laughs> so I mean these days. You feel me? These day and age, you always gotta. It's all about how people feel, and you know, of like what it used to be on based on what it really was. So, in the age of how you feel, there's a lot of opinions out there. So, I want to hear them all. Big fact. Let's get it. Let us know in the comments, please, and we're gonna bring it to y'all live. We're gonna talk about this. Good talk. And face and face live, man. He have he's been around me a couple of times, and he's seen some of them unattractive women who drunk as hell and wanted to talk to me. <laughs> actually talked to me. He might have egged them on to talk to me so he could laugh. Right, right. Big fact. <laughs> no one, no one, no one, no one, no one, no one. It's but, very um, possible. Yeah, that was me.